Magandang araw from the heart of the Philippines, a land steeped in rich tradition and deep faith. Welcome to Bible Economical Reading, a series that endeavors to explore the depth of the Bible through the lens of the receiving community of the Church, with the Catechism of the Catholic Church as our guiding hermeneutical key. This enlightening journey is brought to you by the Hesed Adonai Foundation, Inc., a respected organization founded right here in the Philippines. Our mission is to connect the ancient wisdom of the scriptures with the living tradition of our contemporary faith. Guiding us in this voice of discovery are esteemed members of the Apagang Salita Biblical Apostolate from the Diocese of Antipolo. Each member brings a wealth of knowledge, unique perspective, and unwavering dedication to this series. We are joined by Father Romel Felizardo, Director of Biblical Apostolate, Diocese of Antipolo along with Brother Eduardo Ed Martinez, Sister Mirazol Mayra Gascon Ignacio, Sister Teresita Tess Fajardo, Brother Jesus Ches Fajardo, Sister Isabel Beng Peget, Brother Teofilo June Peget Jr., Sister Jovehilda Liovi Aguila, and Sister Estrelita Lidet Alcantara. I am Restituto Arado Ramos, your host for this series. My journey in scriptural studies, nurtured by the Divine Word Seminary in Tagaytay, has been profoundly influenced by the distinguished individual. I'm honored to have walked this path alongside notable members of the Catholic Biblical Association of the Philippines. Their wisdom, such as that of Sister Helen R. Graham, M.M., Sister Nisita M. Vargas, O.S.A., Sister Bernardita Johnson, S. F.S.P., Sister Miriam R. Alejandrino, O.S.B., Father Randolph Flores, SVD, and Father Alejandro Gobrin, CFM, has left an indelible mark on my understanding and approach to the scriptures. In the next 24 episodes, we will delve into the Bible's narratives and teachings, examining how the Church, as the receiving community, has interpreted and lived this sacred text throughout history. Our journey will take us from the creation accounts in Genesis to the prophetic vision of Re- Revelation always through the interpretative lens provided by the Catechism of the Catholic Church. Join us as we embark on this enlightening journey through the Bible. Together, we will discover how these ancient texts continue to speak to us today, guiding our faith and inspiring our journey with God. Stay with us as we explore the richness and depth of the Bible, understanding it not just as a collection of independent texts, but as a living and dynamic narrative that shapes our faith and guides our lives in the light of the Catholic Church's teaching. I'm delighted to welcome you to our series, Bible Economical Reading. This transformative journey through the Bible will explore its profound and timeless messages through a unique lens. Unlike traditional Bible studies that focus on individual books or verses in isolation, we will view the Bible as a cohesive narrative. This series aims to uncover Uh, how different books, while distinct, collectively contribute to a unified message of faith, hope, and salvation. We will discover deeper insights and connections within Scripture, understanding the Bible not just as historical or religious text, but as a dynamic narrative that continues to resonate with us today. Today's session delves into the concept of canonical reading, a method that views the Bible as an integrated narrative rather than a compilation of individual texts. This approach, espoused by scholars like Brevard Shields, suggests that the scriptures are shaped by the community that perceives them, including the magisterium and the people of God. We will explore how this perspective changes our understanding of scripture, particularly in the context of evangelization. By perceiving the Bible as a unified story, we communicate its message more effectively, deepening our appreciation of God's overarching plan for humanity. This canonical approach is pivotal in the Catholic tradition, where the Church, through the teachings of the Catechism, adopts this method to provide a holistic understanding of the Bible, enriching the faith experience by intertwining Scripture with tradition and the Church's magisterium. As we explore biblical teachings relevant to contemporary issues, this journey will offer insights into how ancient wisdom can guide us in navigating modern life's complexities. I invite each of you to actively participate in this journey, sharing insights, asking questions, and reflecting on how the themes discussed resonate with your personal experiences. Your engagement will enrich our collective exploration. 
As we embark on this journey together, let's keep an open mind and heart ready to discover the Bible's enduring wisdom and its relevance to our lives today. Canonical reading of the Bible seeks to understand the scripture not as a collection of individual books, but as a unified text offering a coherent message. This approach views the Bible as an integrated whole, with its book contributes to a broader narrative. The historical development of the biblical canon formed over several centuries with influences from theological, cultural, and historical factors plays a crucial role in this understanding. Early Christian church councils, such as the Council of Nicaea and the Synod of the People, were instrumental in formalizing the canon based on criteria like apostolic authorship, consistency with Christian doctrine, and widespread acceptance. This canonical approach provides a holistic framework for understanding the Bible's message, allowing readers to appreciate the interplay between different books and identify recurring themes and patterns. It offers deeper insight into the narrative and theological continuity of the Bible, bridging historical critical methods with theological interpretation for a comprehensive approach to understanding the Bible's enduring message. The receiving community refers to believers who read, interact with, and interpret the Bible, actively engaging with it and bringing their own cultural, historical, and theological backgrounds. This dynamic nature of biblical interpretation ensures that the scripture remains a living, evolving text. Communities' unique experiences and perspectives shape their understanding and application of the Bible's teaching. The diversity of scriptural interpretation among different communities such as the varied readings of the Beatitude or the parable of the Good Samaritans, demonstrate the Bible's multifaceted nature and the crucial role of the receiving community in bringing the text to life. The Catholic Church approach to the Bible, rooted in the belief that the scriptures are the Word of God conveyed in human language, balances the literal meaning of the text with its theological significance. The role of tradition in the Magisterium is central to this understanding. Tradition, encompassing teachings and practices passed down since the Apostles, and the Magisterium, the Church's teaching authority, work together to interpret Scripture and tradition, maintaining the continuity and integrity of Catholic doctrine. The integration of Scripture and tradition ensures that the Bible is not read in isolation is interpreted within the rich tradition of the Church, informed by the wisdom and experiences of saints, theologians, and Church councils. As we conclude this episode, we reflect on the canonical reading significance and understanding the Bible as a unified narrative. This approach deepens our understanding and interpretation of Scripture, inviting a more profound appreciation of its message. In our next episodes, we will explore the Bible's structure and significance alongside the role of catechism in understanding the Bible. This promises to be an enlightening exploration of these foundational elements of our faith. On Pedagogy of Biblical Studies in the Diocese of Antipolo. Introduction. In this lecture, we explore the innovative approach to biblical studies adopted by the Diocese of Antipolo, Philippines. This approach contrasts the traditional developmental progression of biblical studies, moving from exegesis to biblical theology and then to dogmatics, with a pedagogical method that begins with basic doctrine of dogmatics, advances to uh, biblical theology, and culminates in in-depth study, exegesis. The developmental progression in biblical studies. Historically, biblical studies have followed a developmental pathway. It begins with exegesis, where scholars scrutinize a biblical text to assert in its meaning in the author's context. The findings of exegesis then inform the biblical theology, tying together themes and revelation across the scripture. Finally, systematic theology, dogmatics, integrate these insights into the broader doctrine of the Church. Pedagogical approach in the Diocese of Antipolo. The Diocese of Antipolo adopts a pedagogical approach that flips the traditional model. This method is more in line with the needs and capabilities of ordinary believers, focusing first on imparting the core doctrines of the faith. Basic Bible Seminar. At this stage, parishioners are introduced to basic church doctrines as outlined in the Catechism of the Catholic Church. This foundational level ensures that the faithful understands the overall revelation of Christ and his reasonableness through faith and reason. Fides et ratio. Biblical theology. 
Once the basics are established, learners are gradually introduced to how these big doctrines and teachings came about. This includes exploring various theological disciplines like Christology, Pneumatology, and Mariology. This stage is facilitated through programs like the Lay Ministry of the Word, LW, which deepens the understanding initiated in the Bi Basic Bible Seminar. Exegesis. The final stage involves more in-depth study, with the focus shifts to the situational context of Bible texts. Here, learners engage with disciplines such as biblical languages, archaeology, literary analysis, and various forms of criticism. This level of study helps in understanding the Bible beyond the superficial reading, avoiding the imposition of contemporary meanings in ancient texts. Rational behind the pedagogical approach. The Diocese of Antipolis approach acknowledges the challenges in teaching exegesis and biblical theology to lay persons without foundational understanding of the faith. By starting with dogmatics, the Church ensures that the faithful can grasp the core teachings and values before delving into the more complex aspects of biblical scholarship. Conclusion The pedagogical method adopted by the Diocese of Antipolo represents a practical and effective way to teach the Bible to the lay community. By starting with the basics and gradually moving to more advanced topics, this approach ensures a comprehensive understanding of Scripture aligned with the Church's teaching and accessible to all believers. On the evolution of biblical studies from Jesus' event to the present understanding. We now delve into the fascinating journey of biblical studies, tracing its development from the time of Jesus to our current understanding. This journey underscores how the Church, in its wisdom, has shaped the pedagogy of presenting the faith, ensuring it is accessible and meaningful to believers at all levels of understanding. We begin by exploring the three pivotal stages of tradition, as identified in the Church document, How to Interpret the Bible in the Church. The first stage is the Jesus event. This period encompasses Christ's incarnation, His teaching, miracles, suffering, death and resurrection, and ascension. Through these actions, Christ manifested God's love and set in motion the work of redemption. He also appointed the apostles and disciples continue in his mission, laying the foundation for a Christian message. Following Christ's ascension, the Christian message was primarily propagated through oral tradition. This was a time when communities relied heavily on spoken word. They were hearing communities. In these early days, the emphasis wasn't on the written records, but on the oral transmission of Christ's teachings and the deeds. The apostles and the disciples spread the message of Christ, beginning from Jerusalem and eventually reaching out to the wider world. This oral tradition was crucial in keeping the message alive and vibrant among the early Christian communities. As communities spread beyond the confines of Jerusalem and the immediate regions, the need for written records became more pronounced. This led to the stage of the writing tradition. The oral teachings, the accounts of Christ's life and ministry, were gradually transcribed into written form. This transition was not merely about recording events, but also about ensuring that the message could reach a wider audience and be preserved for future generations. The writings in various forms, gospel, epistles, and other documents, began to take shape as substitute for and complementary to oral delivery. However, the written word brought its challenges. A plain reading of the text without context often lead to varied interpretations. In Matthew 28, Jesus constituted the apostles as the magisterial office, responsible for interpreting this text accurately, preserving the original message and revelation of Christ. As the Bible took its final form, the Church's role in explicating the faith became even more crucial. On the introduction of the Bible and the Catechism, Overview of the Bible's Structure and Significance We will now embark on the insightful exploration of the Bible, delving its structure and its profound significance it holds. The Bible is not just a collection of religious texts, it is a compilation of historical accounts, poetry, prophecy, and moral teachings, all woven together to present a comprehensive narrative of humanity's relationship with the divine. 
The structure of the Bible reflects this diversity. In the Christian tradition, it is divided into two main sections, the Old Testament and the New Testament. The Old Testament, rooted in the Jewish faith, contains books that ranges from historical accounts, such as in Genesis and Exodus, to poetic and wisdom literature like Psalms and Proverbs, to prophetic writings found in Isaiah and Jeremiah. De Deuterocanonicals provide insight into the intertestamental period. These books lay the foundation for understanding the Jewish context to which Jesus was born. The New Testament begins with the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, which chronicle the life, teaching, and death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Following these, the Acts of the Apostles, the Epistles, or letters, written by early Christian leaders like Paul, Peter, and John, and concluding with the Book of Revelation, a text of prophetic visions. The New Testament is pivotal in understanding the Christian faith as it documents the advent of Jesus Christ and the early years of the Christian church. The Bible's significance extends beyond its religious and historical value. It is a cornerstone of Western literature and has profound influenced art, culture, and philosophy. Its teaching continues to resonate with millions of people, offering guidance, comfort, and sense of spiritual connection. Introduction to the Catechism and its role in understanding the Bible. Now let us turn our attention to the Catechism of the Catholic Church. The Catechism is not merely a book of rules or a list of doctrines, but a comprehensive guide to understanding the Catholic faith, including its interpretation of the Bible. The Catechism helps in contextualizing biblical teachings within the broader framework of Catholic doctrine, making it an essential tool for anyone seeking to understand the Bible in depth. The Catechism delves into key themes of the Bible, such as the nature of God, the role of Jesus Christ, the significance of the sacraments, and the moral and ethical teachings of the Church. It serves as a bridge between the scriptural text and their application in daily life, providing clarity and guidance on how to live out the teaching of the Bible. One of the significant roles of the Catechism is to offer an authoritative interpretation of the Bible. It helps in navigating complex passages and doctrines, ensuring that the understanding aligns with the Church's teachings. The Catechism also addresses contemporary issues, offering a biblical perspective on modern ethical and moral dilemmas. In essence, the Catechism functions as a companion to the Bible, illuminating its messages and ensuring their correct interpretation within the Catholic tradition. For Catholics and those interested in Catholic teaching, the Catechism is an invaluable resource for deepening one's understanding of the Bible and its application to life. As we conclude today's enlightening exploration of the canonical reading of the Bible, we hope these insights have opened new avenues of understanding and reflection. Remember, this is just the beginning of our journey we have much more to explore and discover together in our upcoming episode. Episode 1, Genesis 1-11, to Foundation of Faith. If you're excited to continue this journey with us, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon. This way you won't miss any of our future explorations into the depths of biblical wisdom. Your thoughts and perspectives are invaluable to us. Share them in the comments below. And let's keep the conversation going. Your engagement truly enriches our collective journey through the scriptures. Thank you for being a part of this special series. Stay tuned for our next episode, where we will delve deeper into the rich tapestry of the Bible's narrative and its profound impact on our lives today. Until then, keep exploring, questioning, and growing in your faith. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell for notification. Join us as we continue to uncover the timeless messages of the Bible and their relevance to our modern world. Stay curious, stay inspired, and see you in the next episode.